Hi, this is Jennifer from the Jennifer Maker DIY and Craft Blog. Today I'm going to show you how to make butterfly pop-up cards. So there's actually several different variations that you can make on this design. The one on the left here is a sort of fantasy butterfly that uses a solid wing um, to get that rainbow effect. And this is a traditional monarch butterfly that's pieced. And there's a third one that you can make that's even simpler than these. And I'm going to show you how that you can make these. So the simplest way that you can make these is to cut out the pieces. Again, for these intricate designs, I use my Cricut. You slide them together like this. You can just take a piece of cardstock, you know, that's sized to the correct size, and you can just glue it right here, just like this if you want to. If you want more contrast, just add um, a contrasting color over the um, two side panels, and you get this effect. And because it's so simple, the wings tend to flutter more, and um, I think that it's it's really very pretty. So, but there's a second way of making these, which is to put color inside the wings. And the way that I've done this is to use this digital paper from MelodyLaneDesigns.com. And there is um, in my files, you'll find a wing, uh, butterfly wings, and it cuts out just at the perfect size to fit right in here like this and then you put the butterfly wing backs on it and you sandwich them together just like this um, so it really isn't very complicated to do you just want to make sure that the antennae and the body and all the wings match up perfectly and then of course you need to glue everything down um, I'm using spray mount for this um, so I spray both of these two two sides and once they've sprayed I go ahead and put the wings inside right on the, the part that's sprayed. It's better to spray the, the, the purple rather than the paper itself because then not, not everything gets all sticky. And remember when you're spraying to give yourself 30 seconds before you actually start using it so it's tacky enough. And then you just match it up. Um, I spray both the purple parts of the wing on each of the sides of the butterfly to get this effect. And then you repeat for the other side, pretty simple. Match up the wing and then put the back on. Isn't that pretty? I think it's really pretty. I'm using a, a shimmer paper. This, this purple cardstock is a shimmer. And then you just slot them together just like this. And there we go. Now, again, I like to have a contrast um, between, you know, from the wings and the background. So I'm putting white cardstock on the back and you could just keep it like this if you wanted but the two sides of the cards aren't attached while that makes the wings more fluttery it is less um, it's more fragile right so I still like to put a um, card around the outside and then you can just glue it down and um, you have some little extra bits of uh, little butterflies that get cut out in the files and then you can decorate the inside of the card or the front of the card with them, whatever you choose or none at all. And this is the more traditional Monarch Butterfly Butterfly card. Um, and I'm going to show you how to do this separately because it actually has more pieces and I want you to see how each one goes together. So this is what you're going to need. First I'm using spray mount rather than uh, glue or tape it just works better and I want to show you how if you're using a good sticky mat how easily this comes right off the mat without having to weed much at all if any um, it just peels right off and all the little bits stay on the mat I had a lot of questions about this with my apple tree pop-up card and this is what I'm talking about sticky mat means great cut and less weeding so have everything laid out like this because we're going to glue them just like this so this order so take them over to your um, spraying box and I'm actually going to show you my spraying box so you can see in the, just in case you've never used spray adhesive before this is um, a great tip to have so you just want to use a, a box I'm using a 12 by 12 box so I can put my cardstock right in the bottom as a liner and you place your pieces right on the, the, the bottom make sure the side that you want to get sprayed is up and then you spray. Um, and you should always do this in a ventilated area, but this is how you do it. And using the box means you won't get overspray on 
any anything else that shouldn't have adhesive on it because that stuff just gets everywhere and then um, you, you just peel it right off and give it 30 seconds before you start using it so it's tacky enough so you can always check to see if it's tacky by touching the edges um, you know touching it lightly if it sticks to your fingers it should be good to go so with this one we want to put the white cards on first because we have sprayed the whole thing and it's going to get in our way and then we just put on the parts of the butterfly and they all fit together pretty much like a puzzle piece i i made them so that they would go together they don't join perfectly i i left some wiggle room in between but this way you know exactly now you want to check and make sure that um, your pieces are covering all of the empty spaces and i do that just by holding it up and, and looking at it in the light to see if any light is shining through and when it's, you know, if it's any issues, this is the time that you want to reposition it before it gets um, too difficult to move around. Um, and uh, so there's the white around the edges and then the yellow in the bottom, at the very top, and then the orange. And this is exactly the way a monarch butterfly is colored. Um, so I do one, then I do the other. And I put the white card onto the back just like before because it's pretty sticky. I'm setting out all the pieces so it'll be a little easier. And you can also see how they go together. So set, put that back that way, make sure it's centered, and then put each of your butterfly pieces onto your, onto your butterfly, making sure that all the parts are covered and there's no um, empty space showing through. You know, it doesn't have to be perfect. Just you know, do your best. And now we have it, and we have our two pieces. Oh, oh, don't forget to put the eyes on the two little white ovals that go right over the eyes. Just like that. All right, now we take our butterfly backs and um, we've already sprayed them. So they're good to go and we put them right over the tops of our butterfly pieces. You just make sure that you're lining everything up and press down once you've got it in place. There we go, and bend them backwards, as I'm doing here, and then slot them together. Ta-da, that's not too, too hard, is it? I love how the wings flap on this. So now we put the cover on. The cover has cutouts that match the black of the, um, the card. I thought that was just kind of cool. I liked the idea that it would all fit together, and then you would also know exactly where to put. Now we're gonna take this blue piece of paper and we're gonna cover up the wings before we spray it. We're gonna spray the front and the back of this. And we don't want those wings to get all yucky, right? And put the butterflies into um, the cutouts where there was adhesive because it's going to protect the white butterflies. And we can just take them right out after we've sprayed it. All right, so now we've sprayed it and we just take off those black butterflies um, so that our, and now there's no adhesive on the white. And then we match it up to our card and press down and we have our butterfly card. Now we can take the orange and put them right into the spots that we want them to go. And then we put the black in because there's adhesive on the black. We don't want to pick up a bunch of dust. And then the extras that you have, the extra butterflies, you can place around the outside of the card if you like. One of the things you can do is kind of fold the butterfly wings up so they're three dimensional and they'll sort of stay like that because um, the card doesn't lay completely flat. After all, there is some, you know, the butterfly takes up some space in the card. So it'll retain its, um, its, its lifted wings a bit. And uh, there we have it, our butterfly card. I really like this card because it's really quite easy to make. It's also smaller. It's more traditionally card size than the last one I made. So it's, um, it, this is actually just under five by seven. And I did this on purpose because I had a number of people ask for the apple tree pop-up card and five by seven. And I didn't think that was going to work for a lot of people just because of the intricate cuts. But this one, absolutely, this should work for everybody. And uh, I think it's adorable. I think it would make a lovely Mother's Day or birthday card or get well card or really a lot of things. 
So there we have it, my pop-up butterfly cards. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always, please let me know if you have any questions at all about how to make the pop-up butterfly card or really anything about crafting. I'm always happy to help. You can get all of the files for this butterfly card free on my blog at jennifermaker.com. Um, and please definitely like this video to let me know that you think I'm doing a good job. That's assuming that you think I am. And subscribe to my channel so you can get other awesome craft videos. I love your comments and I love seeing your finished projects. If you make this card, definitely send me a photo of it and I will include it on my blog. Just send it to hello at jennifermaker.com. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to show you my next project. I've been thinking of making like, I don't know, maybe a fairy house card or something. Wouldn't that be cool? Okay, well, we'll see. Again, thank you for watching and I look forward to talking to you next time. Bye.